We'll start right over here uh, for this press conference. Over to the left, Cam Teague Robinson, The Athletic. R Ryan, or, there you go. You talked, I think it was a couple weeks ago, about you wanted to see more from Will, but something that stood out early was just his pocket presence. He seemed okay, he seemed like good today, especially on that throw that I met on the sideline. Just how have you seen his growth as he's gotten more experience in this offense? Yeah, I think uh, the pocket presence is something that was there um, early on when, when um, you know, he got into the spring practice. We were able to see that. That's, that's something that is difficult to teach, that your eyes are downfield, but you're feeling the rush. Um, it does help when you're you know, north of 6'4". And, uh, but he stands in there, you, you can see that. Um, and so, you know, I just think that over the spring, the timing is, is increasing, it's getting better over and over again. Uh, I think the more reps that, that, you know, all these guys get, the better. But um, it looks like, I guess, you know, during that drive, he had some nice completions in there. And um, I think there was a sack in there, maybe held on a little too long. And, um, and wind was blowing pretty hard today. And, and so uh, I think we underthrew a couple balls, but, um, but but overall, I thought he had at least, you know, had a good comfort level for the first drive in the shoe. Uh, Bill Rabinowitz, Columbus Dispatch. Yeah, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that I'm going to make any declarations right now, but um, we'll look at the film and, and see what it looks like and then um, you know decide where to go from there. But I don't I don't have much to you know say about it right now. Over to the right here, Austin Ward, the podcast. Ryan, what do you go into the summer feeling the best about with this team? Um, I would say, you know, our experience, just a bunch of guys who played a whole bunch of football, you know, today, I think there was, you know, about 10 players who came up and wanted more snaps today. And, you know, um, but look at next year is a long run. And, and there's a lot of guys out there who have played a lot of football. Um, some of them, you know, well over a thousand snaps and, um, you know, the number one thing in something like this is, is to stay, stay healthy. I mean. Uh, you want to get good work in there the best you can, but you, you got to stay healthy. They're just It's too important. There's too much invested in these players um, now more than ever. And so, um, you know, I, I feel like, you know, we had to get those guys out of there. But I, I think these guys have played a lot of football. Um, when you look at our defense, uh, you look at the back end, you look at the, you know, the, the front, and then those linebackers. I mean, it's, it's a good-looking group. And you saw that all spring. They're flying around. They're getting it. And they all want to play more and show off in this game. But, um, you know, that's that's our job as coaches to kind of hold them back. But you can see a lot of the talent out there. I thought the corners really did a nice job of covering. You saw the guys get some, um, you know, get some pressures on on the quarterback. I think on on the offensive side, you know, you, you see, again, guys like Omeka who have been out there before and, and Donovan Jackson. And you know, there, so there is experience about both running backs. You know, um, you know, I, I thought all the running backs, you know, did a nice job today. Um, you know, certainly for James and Sam, getting the first opportunity to get tackled was good. Uh, we'll look at the film because that is different, you know. And um, um, but you know, I think our, we have some real good playmakers on the perimeter. So I mean, I, I could kind of go on and on. But um, you know, again, I guess if you said the number one thing, it would probably be our experience and, and game uh, reps. Uh, over to the left, Rob Aller, the dispatch, and then I wanted to go to Nathan Baird. Rob. Yeah, Ryan, with the uh, with the younger quarterbacks in particular. Is part of the idea, um, you did a lot of quick outs, a lot of swing passes, keep their confidence up? I mean, can, you, can they lose confidence in a game like this? Or how, does that, how, do, you, how do you manage them, I guess? Well, you, you try to get into a rhythm um, you know, for them just to get some completions because it, it all is happening fast. And, and that's kind of how it works. You know, you, when you're doing everything for the first time, um, you know, there's certain things that you're learning and you're growing, and you just you want to make things easy for them. But, uh, but again, they, you know, they was, I don't know what the – the wind ended up being, but I mean, it was, it was gusting pretty good in there. And so, um, you know, all it takes is a little bit of a, um, you know, gust of wind and it's, it's in the DB's hands and that can, that can rattle your confidence. So to your point, you know, try to get in a little rhythm a little bit, um, did try to push the ball down a little bit down the field, but, uh, probably could have done it a little bit more, but wanted to get the ball out in space to our guys. And, um, and like you said, but I think overall with all the guys, I guess we were 37 of, of 57, uh, but we did have the, the three interceptions. So, um, so I, I think we at least got some good, you know, snaps on film. That was good. And I guess we, we ran it 49 times. So, um, this will be a lot of film to watch and, and grow from, but, um, we want to be able to, you know, some of those, those passes, you know, those are, those are like long handoffs for us. You know, we want to stretch the, the field horizontally and then we want to stretch the field vertically. And, um, you know, we didn't get as much of an opportunity to do that today, but, 
But there were a couple of play action passes where they, they kind of ran out of there. We checked it down and made good yardage on it. Emphasis on QBs running a little more. I know that's been yeah. what you've talked about. We saw a little more of that today. And you can see, um, you know, like Air, I think, had three carries for 25. Devin, three for 24. Um, and so, you know, Lincoln, I think, had, you know, 16 yards rushing. So, you, you know, when you have a quarterback who can run, it does change the numbers, as we all know. You know, you guys have seen that over the years. And uh, it's going to be uh, a weapon for us this year because all of our quarterbacks are uh, athletic enough to do that. Um, folks, I'm going to bring Tyleek Williams and send him into the back right now. But over to the right, Dylan Davis, Delaware Gazette. Ryan, on Wednesday, you said that you wanted to have at least a projection on where you were at with the right side of the offensive line coming out of spring. Uh, do you feel like you have that projection right now? And I know you still have to watch the film, but do you feel like you know what's going on there or what you think might happen? No, no, no. I, um, I don't think we're there right now. But again, like you said, kind of watch this film and then go back, evaluate the, the entire spring, and then kind of see where to go from there. That you want Josh Fryer to play right tackle, but somebody needs to step up at left tackle to allow that to happen? Well, we know that Josh can play right tackle, and he's done that before. Um, but we want to find the best five. Um, we feel like Josh is one of our best five. Um, you know, if, if we can figure that part of it out, that'd be great. He has played a little bit of guard, um, but he's also played tackle. So uh, the goal is to find our best five. Over to the left, Nathan Baird, Cleveland.com. Right, to go back to the, the quarterback running concept, um, obviously there's a fine line sometimes between using that as a weapon and then using it as a crutch, I guess. How are you evaluating that this spring from that group? And I guess especially how is this defense giving you a, a, a better indication of that just by how much how tight their coverage is, how much pressure they can bring? Yeah, I think that's the thing here right now is, you know, you feel like if you can if you can stop um, you know, the running game, you feel like you're doing a pretty good job. If you feel like, you know, you can pass on our DBs, you're doing a pretty good job. If you feel like you can cover some of our receivers, you know, you're doing a good job. So, that, so this is back and forth uh, on a daily basis. And it's great competition, you know, individually going against really good players, but also against a great unit on defense and a great unit on offense. But, um, you know, there are ways, like in, in particular today, you know, we were doing some open side reading of the defensive end. And, if the defense decides they're going to crash it, make the quarterback run the ball, then then that's their decision. Now we also know that if if that's going on too much, we know ways to handle that. Whether it's bringing a tight end over to block them to make sure the running backs are getting enough carries. So uh, it just depends on the design of the play. And uh, today that's what happened. But you know we have ways to adjust that based on if we're going to a game plan. Over here, Tim May, the Tim May podcast. Yeah. Uh, just a couple, two quickies. Uh, Ryan, number one, is it now tradition that a Griffin will score the last touchdown? In the I guess game? so. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty wild. But, but number two, uh, you, you talked about a second ago. The, I think the depth maybe at cornerback is a little bit overlooked. Uh, uh, Calvin Simpson Hunt, for example, stepped up today. What have yeah. you seen of him in particular this spring? Because he was highly rated coming in and, you know, et cetera. Good player. Um, like you said, highly rated, but but good player. Uh, he's growing every day. He came in in the summer, so this is his first full spring. Uh, and, you know, for Lincoln and for he and for Jason Moore and, um, you know, uh, the Cade McDonald, those guys all came in in the summer. So uh, this is their first full year. They still haven't been on campus for a year. You know, you think that they've been around for a long time, but they haven't. Uh, so now you're starting to see him get comfortable with the calls. And we've said this before, we, we have got to play depth. and. Uh, you good to see Jermaine good in there, a little bit of nickel. Um, obviously, you know, Jordan's going to be the starting nickel in there, but he can jump out to corner. So that gives us some flexibility. And and then seeing Calvin out there as well. And and the, the other guy who really had a good spring until, you know, we had to have a little procedure done just to, out of caution was Lorenzo Styles. So to your point, you know, I think that there is good depth there, but we're going to need them all. Is this as good a depth as you've seen defensively in, in a few years? I mean, from your vantage point? Um, at corner, yes. Um, I think we're still, for me to say that, the best we've seen at all positions, no, I don't, I don't think we're there. Yeah, yeah, but, but at corner and, um, you know, maybe at a couple other positions and then some other positions we've got to solidify a little better. Okay, final question for Coach Day, Spencer Holbrook, Letterman Rowe. Ryan, you've talked a lot about needing guys for 16, 17 games in depth, but one of the positions that we haven't really talked about that with is receiver. Like, do you feel like you guys have the, the receiver depth that you need right now? And can those guys, those top four or five, play all 16? Or do you need guys, younger guys or veterans who haven't really contributed to step up? Yeah, I think it's a legitimate question. Um, you know, I think when you when you have you know, Mecca and Carnell and then Jaden Ballard, Jeremiah, 
Uh, then you get into, you know, Bryson Rogers, who has done some really good things this spring. I know he had a couple of tough plays today, but we think he can really help us next year. Uh, we're, we're missing uh, Brandon Ennis. Brandon Ennis, um, same thing. He was having, you know, so, you know, a lot of momentum, and then and there was a procedure. We just felt like out of, out of caution, we had to get it done. Uh, we just didn't want it to linger, so we did that. So we'll need him to step up in a big way. And then, like you, to your point, we're going to need a couple more guys to step up to build that depth there. Uh, because you know we do have some really good players, but we're going to need them all. So I think it's um, it's important that some of those younger guys do step up. We are going to get uh, you know Mylon this summer, and we're going to get you know uh, Demarion Witten, uh, who's going to play you know a little bit of receiver, a little bit of tight end. So we do have some young guys, and, and to your point, they're going to have to help us. Do you think that Jaden is in that group right now that that can help you? I think Jaden took a step here this last week. You know we've been challenging him. There's been a couple plays, one in particular, like you know he needed to make some plays to say, okay, I'm here. And you can count on me. There was a really contested play in the red zone that he made. He made a you know a, a big play on a post out here the other day. You, you, so you're starting to see him make those plays. And and, and if he can do that for us uh, with his you know uh, deep speed down the field, he can really stretch the defense. And so we're going to need him to. And we we did see things in the last couple of weeks that led us to believe that he can. I, I'm sorry, coach. I got one more. Joey Kaufman, yep. Columbus Dispatch, and then we've got Coach Knowles. Ryan, as you look back on not just today, but all, all 15 practices and, and assess the impact that Chip's had for you guys, is there something you feel like, or just in general, where he's helped maybe the most, where his presence the last two months has given you guys the biggest boost? Yeah, I think he, he brings one voice to the defense, and I think that's very, very important. Certainly uh, has an unbelievable history of running the football, and, and, um, and, and I think when you start to tie in some of those quarterback runs. And, and you know, you notice those quarterback runs aren't designed quarterback runs, really. Most of them are reading an end, and those aren't hellacious hits. You know, they're, they're, they're things where we're going to keep guys upright, and he does a really good job of that. But the other thing, too, with, with Chip was, you know, he got here just a couple weeks before spring started. So, you know, we kind of got the spring going, you know, pushed through the spring, learned about the personnel. I think the next couple months will be important to figure out where we go now. You know, what do we do? What does the install look in the preseason? And, and then we go from there. So uh, like any, um, any spring, you want to identify the personnel and get guys better, and then really dive into the scheme and the chemistry as we head into the summer. Coach, thank, thank you. Do you feel like you're compelled to let the quarterbacks know where they stand before teams get you? Uh, we're going to give them feedback for sure, um, you know, and, and go from there. But yeah, I mean, I think, we, you know, after you go through 15 practices, you want to give feedback. Yeah. Great. Coach, thank you very much.